We all know that the Aaron Hunter sold the rights to Warriors to Alibaba Pictures in 2016, but there has been a lot more info released since then that has gone surprisingly unnoticed. I know that I, personally, only discovered some of these things recently, and I was surprised that a lot of my friends hadn't known already when I shared it with them either, so I thought I would make this video to help inform the community. Back in May, there was a Variety Magazine article detailing the production of Warriors. It caught my eye that the producer of all eight Harry Potter movies, David Heyman, would be producing Warriors. I kept reading and was actually pretty okay with what was going on. David said that he would make sure that the Aaron Hunters would be involved in the production, but he will make sure there is a fine line between the books and the movie. He states, and I quote, It is not a translation, it is an adaption. He also references things such as him reading every Warriors book and wanting to make the first movie span across multiple books. He even referenced a TV show, although he has also said he doesn't want it to be like a TV show, so I'm a little confused on that front. David says he also wants the production of the Warriors movie to take less than seven years. The producer also referenced the budget saying, Warriors will not be a low budget film. He states this is because it is digital animation. He also detailed, Warriors shouldn't be a $200 million film, and it's not a $10 million budget film either. Heyman also says that the video games would be nice, but they need to make a good film first. His concluding statement was as follow follows, it Warriors is funny, it is sad, it is thrilling, and there is a lot of high drama. One of the challenges is getting that emotion across with animals, with cats. Therefore, we know he has read the books and probably knows the characters with deep understanding. So far, everything seems great with Warriors movie. But then, I saw that the screenwriting team, Jonathan Abel and Glenn Berger, were going to be writing the script. Now, they are great screenwriters and popular amongst a lot of big kids movies. Don't get me wrong, but that's the problem. Kids movies. Warriors is not some kid movie. Looking at Jonathan Abel and Glenn Berger's resume, I saw a lot of movies I rather enjoyed. Kung Fu Panda 1 through 3, Shrek 1 through 3, Alvin and the Chipmunks, and even the popular movie Trolls. But there is one common ground between all these movies. Fart jokes. And I swear to Star Clan, if there's a single fart joke in Warriors, I will blow my top. Okay, I'm completely A-OK -okay with these screenwriters, just as long as they decide to change up their style a little bit to be more suitable for Warriors. Now, it doesn't seem like it will be a comedic movie like these two are used to writing. Based off what David Hammond has said in the poster that has been released, we can determine that the War Warriors movie will be a pretty serious movie. Therefore, the duo will definitely need to try something new to fit in with this world. In other news, it was also announced that STX would be joining the Warriors movie team. This definitely got me excited. I did some digging and discovered that STX has worked on a lot of great movies that I personally loved. These movies include A Bad Mom's Christmas, Valerian, and The Foreigner. I personally like these movies, but they don't exactly follow along with the general theme around Warriors. Although STX is currently being sued by Sesame Street, so we'll have to wait to see how that turns out. But we can't make a judgment without looking at Alibaba Pictures. They have produced the following movies slash TV shows that were vastly successful in my opinion. Once Upon a Time, Night at the Museum, and Star Trek. Once again, I am rather impressed with these films, and it keeps me hopeful that Alibaba will live up to the Warriors name. But there is a problem they have recently been undergoing management changes, as well as a loss of $165 million. I will be keeping an eye on them and what they do as well as the ongoing suit against STX. In conclusion, I predict that this movie will be released in the year 2021 and that it will be rated PG-13. I'm hoping it will do well. I believe they will eventually get to the point of sequel movies, though I'm afraid that a lot of characters and plot points will, un will undergo changes. I doubt this movie will be popular among raving book fans, but I think it will do good with people that have never read Warriors or have just read the first few books. I also think they may make the first movie a combination of Into the Wild and Fire and Ice. All in all, the Warriors movie is happening and it seems to have somewhat a chance of success. Although there is still a lot of matters to be settled such as budget, animators, director, and the screenwriters not completely screwing it up. Alrighty, I'll be leaving the video off there. All my sources will be linked in the description if you'd like to check those out. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a nice day.